Hey guys, Nick Drosso. So we're taking a lot of your questions, guys. So before we start, if you have any questions for any self-defense, put them in the comment box. This is what we're, 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 we're trying to give you guys. And we've got a question today is, Nick, how do I fight if I'm injured? Now, in that question could be a multiple amount of questions. It depends. Were you shot? Were you stabbed? Did you, you know, do you have just a busted ankle, a broken hand? Um, and the first thing I could tell people that if, when you're under adrenaline and your fight or flight kicks in, you'd be surprised the amount of pain somebody could take and the adrenaline kicking kick in. A lot of times you're going to be in the fight, you might get stabbed, people even got shot, you might get hit in the face, and you won't feel the pain. It's your adrenaline, your survival instinct that's kicking in, and you're still going to be able to fight through it. Uh, chances are you're going to feel the bumps and bruises and the pain once you're done. Right? So after the adrenaline goes away, after the fight, you'll be like, holy shit, my knee, shit, like my ankle, whatever it is. So how do you fight through it? I guess in that moment, um, your, your body will keep on fighting, especially if you're in survival mode and you're fighting for your life and you're being attacked. Now, if you're put in a position where you're injured really bad, my, my thing would be like, well, can I pick up an improvised weapon? Can I throw shit at him? Uh, it's about evade and escape. What can I do? Uh, you know, do I have a broken hand and I have to fight with one, one hand? Well, if I have to fight with one hand and I'm being attacked, I have no other choice to fight. If I could, I'm going to find a way to escape. Like, again, pick up an improvised weapon. You know, so, so it, it, it's, it's, it's a very big question. Um, but I would tell you guys that when you're in, in the heat of the moment, in the heat of the battle, you'd be surprised the amount of strength that a human being can have mentally as well as physically. Uh, you can also train that. If you want to know what it feels like to train injured, uh, you know, train with one hand behind your back like you had a broken hand. Tape your leg and train with one leg. Simulate scenarios that put you in a vulnerable position and see how you would fight with them. This is the place for you and your training to test this stuff out. You know, and we, we've done it through scenarios where, okay, you have a broken hand, you have a broken leg, uh, you have crutches on you, you're holding a bag and you know, your one hand is, is, is broken or whatever it is where we would do scenarios and we'd actually get to see, holy shit, the disadvantages and advantages of being in a vulnerable position and still having to fight. But I want to thank you. That is a great question. Again, guys, we're here and you know, some people are asking us uh, questions that we've never even thought of. And for some people, it might sound a little bit silly, but we're here for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box, as well as go visit our website, coderedefense.com. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stand strong.